Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Live Special number 155, recorded March 14th, 2013, the Galaxy S4 launch event. Our breaking news coverage is brought to you by the all new Slingbox, which can turn your mobile device into a television. With the new Slingbox, you can watch high def TV on your smartphone, laptop, or tablet anywhere there's an internet connection. Check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. Hello, everybody. Leo Laporte here. I feel like a sportscast announcer. Coming to you from Pac Bell Park. Uh, we are going to be going live in just a bit to Times Square. Actually, Radio City Music Hall, uh, which is just a few blocks from Times Square, where Samsung is expected to announce its brand new phone. And we're giving this the full Apple treatment. And in a way, so is Samsung. First time ever Samsung has launched a phone in the United States. Joining me from All About Android, uh, Ron Richards. Ron XO, hello. Hey, Leo. How's it going? Thanks for joining us. Where, where are you located? I'm here in San Francisco. I'm so in my apartment. Uh, you just decided it wasn't worth flying out. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I figure they didn't want to fly me out, so <laughs> I, I got to watch the expenses. <laughs> we do have three reporters in Radio City Music Hall tonight, just by chance. Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz, is there. Jeff Jarvis from This Week in Google is there. It was easy for them just to go cross town. Uh, and uh, also Andy Anako, who took the train down from Boston. So I hope we'll talk to some or all of them after uh, the announcement. Also yeah. sitting with me in studio today. Uh, it's great to have Aaron Newcomb. He is the uh, part-time host of Floss Weekly. Yep. Works at Oracle uh, on the, what do you work on? Enterprise Enterprise stuff. stuff yeah. Whatever. Yeah. And uh, for many moons, the host of The Source Show at thesourceshow.org. That's right. We also have as, as a regular on This Week in Google. It's great to have yep. you, Aaron. Thanks, thanks for, for making the, thanks for having me. Glad the to be trek here. to the studio. You bet. We're about uh, four minutes away from the launch. Uh, they are streaming this live. And if, if you don't want to hear us nattering away... Uh, don't complain. Just go to youtube.com slash Samsung and turn us off. Cause you, but what we're going to do is what we usually uh, do with events like this. As I said, we're giving it the full Apple treatment minus the Tim Cook puppet. We, we won't be doing that tonight. Although <laughs> if I thought of it, it'd be kind of fun to have Tim Cook puppets reaction to this. Um, we will be uh, streaming this, you know, broad rebroadcasting their stream with our commentating uh, on top of it. We'll try not to cover up any of the really important bits, but uh, I think it's a good way of getting some analysis. Uh, we're doing the color. Yeah, that's right. We're the, doing the play-by-play. -play. Color announcers. Yeah, color announcers. So uh, before we begin these, I always like to ask, what do you expect? Let's start with you, Aaron Newcomb. Well, there's been a lot of rumors and flying around, and so I think that uh, certainly it's going to be an iterative uh, generation of the phone because really, I mean, when you think about it, the S3 just came out, uh, what, 10 months ago? Is it less than a year, it's, really? It's been less than a year, so that's really surprising, number one. And the Note 2 is just about four months old or something. That's right, right. that's right. So, I mean, Samsung is on a tear, um, and it'll be interesting to see what end users think of this announcement, you know, whether they get upset or they're excited or encouraged, um, because a lot of people, if they went out and bought an S3, they might be thinking, oh, crap, and now i got to go buy another phone, or I don't have the latest and greatest, you know, so... Uh, it'll be interesting to see what people, what S current S3 owners think of the announcement today. Ron, we'll have to ask you in a bit because uh, they're sure. starting two and a half minutes early. <laughs> you see now the video from the uh, stage of Radio City Music Hall. They made a big deal about this being a Times Square announcement. That's a few blocks away, but I gather they're doing it on the big screen on Times Square. Boy, this is very oh, Broadway, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> they're really taking the showbiz style. <laughs> Rom, uh, will you be? I feel uh, like I'll be a little disappointed if it does look like the uh, the the child of the S3 and the Note 2. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be disappointed. I mean, given all the the litigation they just went through in comparisons to the iPhone, I wouldn't be surprised if they feel like okay, let's keep the look safe for now. Let's not make any major changes. Um, I do think we'll see some um, more consumer options. You know, in terms of variety of colors, like the S3 came out in the in that blue as well as the white. Um, and based off the, the little teaser ads they're doing at the kid, I wouldn't be surprised if we'll see some more colors to try to pull people in, you know, who are less concerned about the number of megapixels and more concerned about the fashion side of it. I presume that there'll be an update to, to the TouchWiz interface. That's Samsung's gloss on top of uh, Jelly Bean. And I also presume it'll be a Jelly Bean 4.2 device, right? 
Oh, it has to be. If it's has not, then yeah, it has to be. Absolutely. You don't announce a new yeah. phone and not use the latest version yeah. of Android. At right. least with this pomp and circumstance. Yeah, if they're <laughs> yeah. Rolling, rolling out, yeah. you know, an earlier version. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. last, the S3, or the Note 2, I guess, was announced, or was it the S3 was announced at Mobile World Congress last year, right? And I think the, it was. In Barcelona. Yep. They had an event. Uh, and then there was another Samsung event uh, for the Note 2. Both very successful phones. Easily the best-selling Android phones out there. And coming very close to the success of Apple. Samsung is the number two smartphone manufacturer in the United States. And I think uh, in some cases they've bested Apple, right? I think the the, um, the S3 topped uh, the um, iPhone 5 in terms of sales. So For one, one quarter or another? Yeah, yeah. 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 I think overall it's still an iPhone world, but maybe not. Maybe not. So well, they're, they're, uh, they're making headway. All those ads and all that, all the presence in the major cities, billboards and stuff like that. It's like it's become a real consumer. You know, it's a thing now. I think you can credit the uh, the Samsung ad campaign. They've spent millions of dollars. Super Bowl ads, playoff ads, they uh, Academy Award ads. They are everywhere. You cannot watch TV without seeing a Samsung ad. Yeah, they've really been hyping up the press lately. Um, even for this event, I mean, they've had a lot of, you know, watch this space type of advertisements out there. Um, and you've, you've seen them popping up all over the place. So that's really kind of surprising. Our show today brought to you by, as always with breaking news, our friends at Slingbox, which can turn your mobile device and yes, your Galaxy S3 or Note 2 into a television or Samsung tablet. With a new Slingbox, that beautiful Slingbox 500, you can watch high-def TV on your smartphone, your laptop, or your tablet, anywhere you've got an internet connection, you can check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Benjamin, I am watching Twitter, the Twitter stream. If you tweet at Leo Laporte, I'll see your comments. And, of course, we're always watching our chat room. You can find that at irc.twit.tv. So those of you watching live, please uh, join us uh, there. Benjamin uh, Rethig uh, tweeted me that the Exynos 5, as you said, Ron, it is, or maybe it was you, Aaron, talking about it, is a dual... Is an eight core, but mm -hmm. they he believes it's an A15 and an A7. Oh, could be, be an interesting, interesting combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it was the A9 and the A7. We shall but, see. Yep. Yeah, we shall Maybe see. they'll talk about that. I'll, I'll be curious to see if that eye scrolling thing is true or not, or if that was just a rumor. What's that? Um, the eye scrolling. What they think that what they're going to be doing is they're uh, similar to the kind of the gesture control and things like that. They're going to be adding in um, control to scroll the screen based on your eye movement. It watches so, the camera watches you. Exactly. So you won't need to actually physically scroll the device to go through down an article. It'll just kind of scroll at the movement of your of your eyes as it moves down the, the screen of the device, which is kind of creepy, but also kind of cool. So, yeah, I heard there was actually four different um, things that were coming with the eyes. So one is the ability to do the scrolling like that. The other one is uh, if you're looking at the phone, if you're looking at the device, it will uh, suspend the uh, dimming of the screen. It's like it knows if you're looking at it. It's like if you've ever been reading an article um, and it's a really long article, you know, you're just kind of looking at the words or looking at something and all of a sudden it, your, your phone goes black. That's really annoying. So that's another thing I, that's been rumored at least. Um, also for media, when if you're watching a movie and you suddenly look away, it will pause the media. So whether it's a movie or... I love that stuff. Or music or yeah. something. I guess it wouldn't work for music, but certainly for, for a movie, if you look away, it'll it'll pause it. So. I've had medium success with Smart Stay on my S3 and my mm -hmm. Note 2. Sometimes mm -hmm. it knows it's me. Some, And it'll flash a little eye icon when it can see your eyes. So right. you know it's doing it or not. Yep. Uh, apparently they're playing Mac the Knife now. <laughs> and Neil Patel at The Verge is speculating that the Rockettes showing up a lock. He believes since they are at the Radio City <laughs> Music Hall and they're playing Mac the Knife. You know, uh, there's a real opportunity here for Samsung because uh, we thought the HTC One, uh, HTC's flagship Android device, would be launched this week. And it's now been delayed possibly as late as April, uh, which is, I think, when the S4 will come out. So now there's going to be really two flagship Android phones available for people, and it looks like on all four carriers for all, all both phones. And and the speculation, you know, based off last year when HEC made their announcement, and Samsung just pretty much bowled right over them. Um, I wonder if HEC, you know, is, is trying to avoid that maybe by having the phones come at the same time, have better a better chance Ladies in the marketplace. And gentlemen, the show will begin in a few minutes. Let's get ready to Galaxy. <laughs> Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. <laughs> I'm glad they hired a professional announcer for that. 
<laughs> there are, I think I was told, 3,500 seats in this Radio City Music Hall. It's a very, very big theater. Uh, of course, they have a very famous Christmas show with the Rockettes every year, but it's a movie theater, just a, a movie theater writ large. Um, and as you can see on the video, it, they've, they have lit it up, and they've got a, I don't know if that's a live band or a uh, recorded band. I don't see an orchestra's no. section there. It's, like, it's a beautiful hall. I mean, it's got, it's got it that is. great Art Deco kind of 30s kind of feel, and it's got great acoustics. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I've seen many concerts there. Samsung really wants to be Apple. Yeah. And that comes right down to the, the big product announcements, too. I wonder if this move to make the announcement in the U.S. will also mean that they will release the phone in the U.S. first. Yeah, traditionally, they've released it European. In fact, that's how I always get mine is the unlocked, unlocked European version. version. Yep. Uh, and uh, then the carriers have it. I think this is the fact that they're announcing in the U.S. This is a Samsung saying, hey, yeah, we're ready. We're ready yeah. to take on Apple. We're going to have this, I suspect, uh, simultaneously all around the world. They certainly have the manufacturing capability now. Right. right. I've been holding just to, you know, because I, my Note 2 died, my oh. European unlocked. So I was really looking forward to getting an HTC One uh, now that it's not out. And I and the S4, I mean, I'll, I'll have to decide between them. So meanwhile, I've got the, uh, this is the BlackBerry uh, Z10, because, mm. you know, it's Canadian. I call it Z. Uh, and it looks so remarkably like an iPhone that I think it'd be hard to tell them apart, frankly. Um I, I'm, I'll be playing with this for the next uh, few days, but uh, um, so far, n it doesn't feel like an innovative breakthrough device. Mm -hmm. Very similar, you know, with the scrolling and the icons and all of that. Nice screen. Yeah, definitely. It looks yeah. nice. Yeah. It's got Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Foursquare, LinkedIn right on the front page, a calendar, a browser. It's got mail, unlike the playbook. <laughs> nice feature. Nice. Yeah, yeah. BlackBerry Messenger, of course, that's a big thing. And there's still a lot of people in the world that use uh, BlackBerry. So. Yeah, the one thing that they have going for them um, over uh, either the iPhone or, or Android environments is that I know that they're planning to do some sort of lockdown uh, for people that work in corporate environments, you know, some sort of lockdown, uh, uh, lockdown the corporate apps and things like that. And so Samsung's been very aware of this and this mm -hmm. kind of perception that BlackBerry is somehow better in business. That's why you've seen these ads uh touting Samsung safe. Um, and I imagine they'll speak a little bit about the safe platform. I'm, I don't think they've said what safe includes yet. Right. Um, but uh, I imagine they'll talk a little bit about safe uh, today as well. Yeah, yeah I think I, they I just, just had to get the device out there. I mean, they were just tanking. Right. You know, they just yeah. had to get it out. I wonder if it's too late. I mean, you know, that, that IT foothold that BlackBerry's had for so long has really, I've, you know, folks that I know that work in corporate IT, they're seeing more and more iPhones and more and more of the Samsung devices coming right. in. I wonder if BlackBerry just missed the, missed the, missed the window to react. It might be, although you, you probably saw the story, and I don't not confirmed that somebody, nobody knows who, placed an order for one million BlackBerry uh, Z10s. Mm. Wow. Uh, probably a big, you know, a lot of companies... Still use BlackBerry. A lot of uh, government agencies still use BlackBerry. So uh, while bring your own device has absolutely uh, eaten into the success of BlackBerry and probably been the chief cause of its its, its drop in the market share, it's still not total. Yeah. You said a million? One million. Wow. I mean, that's a lot. That's I mean, a lot of units from somebody. I mean, I, even if like Oracle has 120,000 employees, I mean, even if they bought one for every employee, right. that's... Right. It sounds to me like it's a government. Yeah, it's got to be. But what government? Like a defense contractor or something like that. Or yeah. somebody hit a zero one too many times. <laughs> <laughs> but even then, 100,000 phones would make you raise your eyebrow. Yeah. So. No, and of course, BlackBerry, very excited about this. They wouldn't say who it was, but they did confirm that they had the order. By the way, it is BlackBerry now, not RIM. Mm. You know, oh, that was a smart decision. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Still hearing that jazzy, jazzy music uh, seven minutes into the hour uh, in Radio City Music Hall. Hey, if Justin Bieber can be two hours late for a concert, I think we can wait for uh, Samsung a few extra minutes. I have to admit, this music does uh, make me think about SimCity a little bit. I I, uh, I don't know if this is really a hip choice. Yeah, I don't know. I like the, the same Broadway kind of sound before. Sound of, it's the same kind of sound that Apple tends to have, right? No, Apple, of course, always has hip, modern, contemporary music, rock. Uh, occasionally, they'll have the Dylan, you know, thrown in because yeah. Steve Jobs is a big Dylan fan. <laughs> Because I really feel like we're stuck in a giant <laughs> elevator going nowhere. 
pretty soon the door is going to open. The scary girl is going to come out. We're all going to freak out. So in a, in a very twit-like move, I, I got the Nexus 4 today. Ah! Nice. As, opposed to, as opposed to waiting to see what happens yeah, today. Yeah, it's I pretty much <laughs> the old phone now. <laughs> the only advantage to a Nexus 4, and I imagine this is the phone Google will give out at Google I.O., unless they have a new Google Experience phone, and I don't think they will. The advantage of the Nexus 4, which is basically, what, an Optimus G repackaged from LG, is it is a Google Experience. You've got the latest version of Android, and you always will. And there's something and that's the say. thing is that I, I actually do prefer the stock, the blank yeah. Google experience sure. as opposed to, sure. you know, whether it's HTC Sense or Samsung. Ooh, we starting. We, ah, the lights are dimming. We are. Ladies and gentlemen, the gobos are going out. Nope, they're back. No, they're changing. Now the drum. Now the gobo's back. Now it's counting down. <laughs> Shall I count along with it? Five, four, three, Smoky. two, one. This top secret meeting is very exciting. Oh, they're going to show this crappy ad <laughs> with a crappy little kid opening the crappy box. Open the box. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's unreal. Totally amazing. After really a remarkable ad campaign for Galaxy phones, to do this just baffles. Yeah. I've set aside your power ties for your big day. Particularly because you never see anything of value in this. It's just a box. Right. Good and day, it's sir. a small child playing with a box. Approaching Radio City Music Hall, sir. Yes, that's it. He's not even an endearing child. He's actually kind of an FLK. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny looking. I wonder thing. if they'll actually uh, bring him out on stage too. Oh, I guarantee you, this is exactly what we're going to segue right to, yeah. and everybody will be in awe because he will walk out of the we're ad and the onto show. the stage. It's magic. Ladies and gentlemen, it is magic. It's... Please welcome our secret messenger, Jeremy Maxwell, yep. and our master yep. of ceremonies <laughs> for Samsung Unpacked 2013, Mr. Will Chase. Will Chase, uh, somebody I have know. I'm not very hip. Oh, wow, full orchestra. Hey, it is an orchestra. orchestra. Look at that. No wonder they had him playing. You ready, Jeremy? I'm ready. Let me see inside the box. Oh, this is painful oh. already. Will is a, a candy bar. musical we'll theater star. A few minutes. First, you have to welcome everyone. Didn't she get a script? Yeah. Broadway actor Will Jeremy Chase. Jeremy will be back, but first I want to welcome all of you here in Radio City and all you of our was a tease. Him from uh, Rent. Oh, oh, this guy, yeah. I know who he is. Miss Saigon. These folks are ready for the show, and I want to welcome everyone streaming live around the globe. Yeah, there's people now, dressed in snowsuits in Times Square. Radio City Music Hall for a show, and I have to admit, uh, it's a little emotional for me, not just because I'm introducing the world to the new amazing Samsung Galaxy, but also uh, because I began my career 20 years ago on this stage. You may remember him for his guest starring role in no, Law and no, Order, no, Criminal Intent, episode 37, makeup, Passion. Feathers, you wouldn't recognize any of us. Who's that, the kid? They, no, this guy. I don't oh, know why. Tonight. You could have We're a star. Show you an Who is this guy? Samsung he was in Hallmark's The Lost Valentine. I'm reading his <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> With the new Samsung Galaxy, hey, you got to start experience somewhere. life without boundaries, without limitations. The guest start is uh, Michael Swift in the, the Galaxy, NBC series I am Smash. To introduse you to the president and they remember head him playing uh, mobile communication division, Joe DiMaggio. Samsung Electronics, no. Mr. J.K. <laughs> I don't. He's on Broadway right now in the uh, remake of The Mystery of Edwin Drood. Shin. Good How much applause? <laughs> See, Samsung <laughs> mi is missing a bet here. They got to do what Apple did, which is load the first 10 rows with employees. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They the thought that was spontaneous moment, cheering. They didn't understand. We have heard an amazing combination of rumor and speculation about what I'm going to unveil tonight. Before you hear about the product itself, I would like to emphasize one thing. We are committed to innovation. We are always listening to learn from people I'm around the weird world. Weird flashbacks from the PS4 what event. What kind of progress I... they <laughs> really want. And these efforts have taken us to where we are today. And it's the result of what we will I want to say something that's now. probably not politically correct. Don't. Okay. 
And We're all thinking it. Thanks for saving me there. <laughs> to one marathon in life. Certainly not necessary. Okay. To <laughs> help us live exactly. a richer, simpler, and more fun life. We will imagine the possibilities, <clears throat> explore the new direction, and listen to you to understand what a smartphone should provide to us it's a big screen. in our life. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be great? Yes. If the technology in our hands yes. could place the person taking a picture in the picture as well. Dual camera. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. We can Did you see that picture in picture? Mm -hmm. Both cameras alive. We could smile to look at the baby's adorable pictures, listening to their first words. How great a viewing experience would that be? So audio with photos? Yeah, I guess. Remember the Zoe feature that uh, HTC announced with the HTC One, which combines stills and movies. Simply just looking away from the screen. Samsung Smart Scroll, Smart Pause, that's what we yeah. were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. then Face recognition. Touch. Imagine touchless interfaces. This air view. Oh, air view. Yeah, they did it with yeah. the uh, S Pen where you could hover it and it would know it was there. I right. don't really understand the point. The great things can come from this. Think about being able to communicate with your friends around the world without language Now, barriers. the S translator we could use right now. <laughs> right, right. Oh, Ooh, I went there. Together without phone signal or internet. Group play. Out the I don't same song think that together. word means what you think it means. That's the world we imagined. We always have the smartphone with us. Could these powerful devices help take care of our health? Help. Take care of our wellness? We imagined they could. Yes, health. Have we been annoyed by bringing two phones for work and personal use? You don't need to be anymore. We are ready to provide the perfect solution for yeah. work mm, and This is probably their, yep. their safe. Yep. It's Knox. That's another, I mean, safe is Imagine a brand name, so this is a second. Photos or video clip. Home sync. You capture right now. That, that ties into the set top box they, they uh, rolled out at Mobile World Congress. You know, these ads, uh, they really highlighted the idea that people have two phones, one for work and one for home. And that's not, a, you know, necessary anymore that you, your Samsung is safe for work, but does the things you want to do at home. Wouldn't it be really great? These ideas have been conceived from our observation of real life. During group play, probably. Which is the most important source of our inspiration, just as making life better, is the most relevant aim for our innovation. What we will show you tonight is the result of all of this. It is an innovation that improves the way people truly live every day and helps them live in the way they aspire to. For each of us, life is journey. What we want is a device that can join us on that journey. <laughs> a device that enables us to do more. A companion that helps us experience life to the fullest. A life companion for a richer, simpler life. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samsung Galaxy S4. Oh, at least they're going to show it. Oh, my God. Finally. Oh, I've been holding my breath. <laughs> Here it comes. It's emerging. If Jeremy's carrying it in a box, I'm going to really watch. Oh, my God. Could wow, they make this, this dramatic. more overblown? Another countdown. Maybe the Rockettes will come out, and they'll each kick a phone into the audience. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. All right. There's the there it image. Is. It does look exactly like a Galaxy Note. Uh, it's going to be smaller than the Note, of course. Here, yeah, here yeah, he is, yeah, the kid yeah. with the box. Payday for uh, <laughs> And there we have it. There's the reveal. Black and white, not multicolored yet. Anyway. Very similar to uh, an S3 or mm -hmm. a Note 2. Well, we're all Is admiring it. it. The 
Oh. Galaxy S4 incorporates so many compelling features that were inspired by the people oh, I hope he's not going to do the, the whole world. announcement. But with everything that the Samsung Galaxy S4 can do, does it fit into your life with the style? Does it fit in my pocket? That's really... <laughs> because the Samsung... does have Galaxy a home key. It does have a physical home key, which I actually appreciate, although this is not what uh, Google wants you to do at all. Uh, right. Not at all, yeah. They want it <clears throat> away. Yeah, it's apparently it's got the home key and then the, uh, the menu key the and a back key. Capacitive. Yeah. yeah, at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It would be funny if he said, but can it blend? <laughs> Yeah, that, that would add a little punch. Would. You know, just At least throw it would break things up a little bit. Yeah. 4G LTE version. Furthermore, Samsung will support FDD LTE as well as TDLT. We will support cover global LTE networks for all frequencies and standards. So 155 com countries uh, simultaneously in April. LTE supporting LTE in all of those countries, all networks. In our products, That's probably a Qualcomm our feature, I would guess. We are committed to progress and excellence. I'm so glad to get a new life companion. Once you spend time <laughs> with the Galaxy S4, I'm very confident. By the way, this is exactly what the leaks uh, predict. Innovations mm -hmm. make your so life far. richer, simpler, and fuller. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank That's you. it? Good. Goodbye. Well, the shortest event coming. I can uh, remember, certainly... Uh... See you later. Oh, wait a minute. There's more. It's people living their lives. Oh. <laughs> uh, their tagline of this is, your life companion. It's your little plastic... What is it the, from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide? Uh, your little your plastic pal who keeps you company. Spread the seat. The beat. beat. At the beat. See both sides. That's an int really interesting. I can't think of a single camera phone that does that, but you've got a camera on both sides. Why not have images from both sides somehow combined? I don't know if it's picture in picture. Or... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what, what they do with that. Thank you, Mr. Shin. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll chase this like back. I'd like to introduce you to Ryan Biden, Director of Product Marketing from Samsung Telecommunications America. A little plastic pal who's fun to be with. Now, when I talk about the new exciting features of the Galaxy S4, Ryan will elaborate. Uh, he's an elaborator. So if I say the new phone looks and feels awesome, he'll say, that's because it's slimmer yet stronger. Just look at it, side by side with the Galaxy S3. The Galaxy S4 is only 136.6 millimeters long by 69.8 millimeters wide. And at a mere 7.9 millimeters, it's mind blowing. Five inch thin. screen, uh, Super and AMOLED, 441 screen. pixels per inch. And yet the screen is now a full five inches. In other words, it's very it's high DPI, higher than the, the uh, iPhone. And this is full HD Super AMOLED screen. It's 1080p. It's unbelievably yep. sharp. 1920 that's by 1080. 441 uh, PPI. Mm -hmm. How does that, that compare to the DNA? Uh, I think it's higher than anything, including the uh, HTC One as well. But let me uh, Unreal polycarbonate material see. The S3 was 1280 by 720. It's the same as the DNA. That's yeah, the DNA is 441, yeah. 1080 by 1920. Yeah. And this case, polycarbonate, still cool. And it's only, it's a totally new and upgraded. DNA is exactly the same size. It might even be the same panel for all we know. You can see how yeah. great it looks here. I mean, it's got such an incredible. So here's. Uh, and finally crafted look. You can see how thin it is there. There's and a little bulge on the top. Uh, I guess when you get that thin, you still have to put uh, the antenna somewhere. And the camera lens this looks like it peeks out a little. Part yeah. Of the new user experience upgrade and a new visual effects engine. It's this so much more touch alive whiz. than ever before. And when you land at this Flipboard. beautifully laid out home screen, the pure black bar at the top is gone, and it's been replaced with a graceful translucent effect. The point oh, is to wow. more subtly blend all <laughs> impressed, that Ron? key indicator information. Ah, nobody's, nobody's thought to get rid of the black bar yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> nice. I love the layout, the photo gallery. It's got a real hip magazine look and feel to it. Yeah. We've really spent <laughs> a lot of time perfecting this look and feel. But let's not forget what's under the hood. 
starting with connectivity. I, I want Will to sing a song. This is set to go out. I, I think a lot of these guys are coming closer and closer to the uh, to be clear, stock Android stock looking feel, so I don't know. Either. Yeah, yeah. Well, HTC's uh, Touch uh, uh, 5, Sense 5, is very different. Mm. Uh, so what that means is the Galaxy S4 will support downloads looks like at 100 anyway, megabits per second I've seen. and uploads at 50 megabits per second. Up to hexaband 4G LTE, very fast. It does support AC, to Wi-Fi, A, B, G, and, and AC. Bluetooth 4, of course. LD, uh, LTE, like the uh, one, it will have the infrared uh, LED yeah. so that you can uh, use this as a remote control. That's great. And also Bluetooth very cool. 4.0. Cool. Which gives got it HDMI. Plug. <laughs> We've also got an infrared LED. So our remote control function. So you just yeah, can control I love the the MHL personally. with the Galaxy S4. Uh, MHL is awesome. And you need a so special cable, works. right? Yep. Which gives you access to TV programming just as a little, well as a little dongle. video on demand services. Um, while we're here, let's talk about the cameras. Yes. The main camera on the back is 13 megapixel, and the front facing is two. 13 so megapixel on the front as well. Will be sharp. Oh, no, no two. Two. Oh, it's two. Oh, two. Not oh, as well is the number two. <laughs> right. Some great Scared me. On My the bad. That we're in a moment. Uh, as for memory and storage, the Galaxy S4 will ship with two gigs of LPDDR3 RAM. That's very nice. It's got 16 gigs gigabytes of storage built in with options for 32 and 64. And of course, a micro SD slot that will give you space for up to 64 gigs more. And then of course, there's an array of sensors. Do hope removable battery. I think probably would like have to be you because behind me. you need Plus, to get into that. two new thing. ones, infrared gesture and temperature and humidity. It's <laughs> a lot of sensors. You're feeling wow. a little uh, sweaty right now. A device that will Are really understand what's going on around them, and give them useful information and IR that gesture. can enrich and fulfill their lives. Well, now all that gadgetry that would has sense got to the warmth of your finger. Power. We're constantly upgrading the operating oh, system. Oh, great battery life! Twenty six hundred yeah, milliamp nice. hours is great. To make sure that you can make it through your day, slightly more juice in the S3. The S4 around a twenty six hundred milliamp hour battery. It's twenty one hundred for the S3. And yeah, it's removable. And I think so the Note uh, Two is something like thirty two hundred, right, but now, that's a, now, all this a big honk and big honk. So. Deserves a unique launch. So this presentation is going to be a little bit different than what you're all used to because we're in the greatest theater in New York, Radio Here City. Here come the Rockets. Musicals. Here they come. Come on. Uh, actually, it's a little ballerina and that has emerged. Some of Broadway's Jeremy's best, best friend. So to kick things off, let's go to our first scene, which takes place at the upper. You know, nobody gets weird like school. Samsung gets weird. <laughs> this is bizarre. As, as you know, if you saw the keynote at CES, there's no, oh, there's no weird it. like Samsung weird. <laughs> And there is something emerging from the stage, the little ballerina That's and her friends. Twirling her little heart out, but her dad doesn't have a Let's hope they all have S4s. So he doesn't have no, this reminds me, this reminds me of like the Carousel of Progress at Disney. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Show, showing you how technology will change I people's can't. lives. Yeah. No. Dad, tell me that's not true. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, acting. I'll get the Galaxy S4 after the presentation. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand... Patrick does have an S4, so he can take amazing shots of his son, Patrick Jeremy, lives in the as future. he gets ready for his first tap dance recital. You're up next, honey. <laughs> Boy, am I nervous. Oh, you're going to do just fine. I want to get some backstage footage. Now, if you're like me, you have 800 pictures of your mom and, like, two of your dad. Because dad always took the pictures. Our family videos look like a movie about this a single mother. Week. Well, sure have. all that's about to change. <laughs> At least they got actors. Hold on to your hat. Thank God now. they got actors. Video of little Jeremy who's so nervous he could throw up. But Patrick can also be in the video. This is, I want to see this dual camera. It's Jeremy's first tap What does this look recital. like? Mm, and that would mean a lot to Patrick if that was really his wife and kid and his name was really Patrick. <laughs> That's good. That's so good. At least they're aware. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're aware how cheesy it is, yeah. do his laces up and keep his lunch down. This is definitely a very cool and very unique feature. Pretty much every smartphone out there today has two cameras. The main camera on the back that also shoots video and the front facing camera that you can use to take pictures of yourself. With the Galaxy so, S4, Patrick can shoot video with both at the same time. What? For the truly narcissistic. Looking at while also <laughs> well, inserting himself in that applies to a lot of our social media friends, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So apparently you can be a picture in picture. And turned on and off by clicking a button on the screen. 
Then when viewed, the video will switch from the full screen video taken with the main camera to the dual screen taken with both. Look, it's me. That way you can be in the whole video if you want to or pop in and out. A really great feature. Now, let's rejoin our fake family. And there's all sorts of uh, treatments for the uh, picture in picture frames frame. and so forth. Oh, I want you in the picture. I will be. You can even do a will. split view. Oh, uh, dual camera also works with photos. See? And Patrick so video can and photo. the front camera photo anywhere he wants to. Just you know, we've got used to this because of Skype and, uh, and yeah. FaceTime where you see yourself as in addition. So I'm not sure this is going to be as bizarre as it sounds. I understand on video, well, not even video, but uh, like on your photos, do you want to like see what your reaction was of the thing? You're Like I'm taking a picture of a band playing. Do I want my, me reacting to it in the photo? I don't know about that. It's going to be all these people squinting. We're going to see a lot of pictures like this. Hi, Grandma. It's Jeremy's first recital. Wish you were here. So it takes five seconds of audio, then takes the picture. Well, that's pr that's pretty cool. That that's almost like Vine. Yeah, but without the video. Without the video. Yeah. Or Zoe again. This is uh, both companies are trying to do something interesting with cameras. The visual memory you've created. It is like a ghost with that echo, but I don't think that that's. And helps you keep special moments even closer to you. What if you could use it for broadcast? Now we're gonna see why Jeremy got this gig. Next. We're on. You ready? It's you. Come on. Oh, Come the on. Land, honey. Many people oh, don't geez. realize he's really a child prodigy. Well, apparently. Wow. Go. Okay. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it's tap dancing. Yeah, he's the next Jimmy Cagney. <laughs> And this is what they invented Ritalin for. <laughs> Chad, I'm saying he looks like a marionette. I, I think he does look a little marionette-ish. Well, that's, da that's tap that's dancing. That's tap dancing, you're right. I think people but... don't. When's the last time you actually saw people tap dancing for real? I mean, right, like right. In, an, in an actual movie or show? or It's a lost art, really. It's, it's, you know, might as well have vaudeville on this thing. I think he's ready to start taking lessons. Bring in the baggy pants yeah. comedian. Go away. Wow. And wait till you see what his dad captured with Drama Shot. Oh, let's First see. Shots are really popular. In some cases, you can take up to 30 frames in one shot, but then you have to go through them, choose the best one. With our Drama Shot feature, the Galaxy S4 can take more than 100 shots in four seconds. Wow. And then Whoa. select some to be shown in the finished picture. Oh, that's very oh, interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Right. Very cool. So you get a single oh, that image. Cool. It's a, like a time lapse with, you know, five or six images in it. Another That's very interesting. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I would use that. Yeah. Is a racer. In certain. Yeah. Watch what not all the time. Someone happens to walk People have to be moving. Picture. With one click, <laughs> you speed up the shutter and take small. Why isn't this working? <laughs> you all look the same. Erasing people or unnecessary. This is interesting. How they they're basically this is uh, anti photo bombing. You can erase your ex wife. <laughs> Did they erase the father? That just cold. Her mother entered the shot. I could get rid of her. Yes. Yeah, reverse photo bombing. But I can only erase her from the picture, not from my house. But this right? is kind of what we've been okay. talking about for some but time now. Set up the idea that it's not the about the camera, it's about the computation. Right. The photography right. is moving towards a, a computational model. We, we know how to capture the image. Now what's going to happen with all the processing power we have in the back end? Well, that's what HTC is banking on with that super pixel or whatever they're yeah, calling it. Yeah. Ultra yeah. pixel. Yeah. Although, Although that's what it is, yeah. wait, I saw a review well, yeah, on the Verge and it was sounded like it did not do a very good job. It was over softening it. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't seen other hand, good reviews of it. You're not making the sensor bigger. You're just adding pixels to a sensor. Great. Okay. You're not going to get a better image, and that's I don't know how big the sensor is on these uh, Samsungs, but I'm guessing it's the same size. With more pictures jammed in. The leaked photos I saw, they were um, not quite as bright. Yeah. Um, yeah well, exactly as like the Xperia Z. I mean, that, yeah, it's it's yeah. just it, it's okay. It, do, it does okay in, in low light, but... Now we've got a... Boy, they really... This is a Broadway production. We're now in Seattle. Or Shanghai, pardon me. Do you know where I can get the bus to the Shanghai Museum? But the old guy doesn't speak English. His Chinese is excellent, though. speak Chinese. Hang on. But that's not going to be a problem for him. Not with the new S translator feature. Wow. Check it out. Doesn't Google do this? Yeah, Google Translate. Yeah. It does it with audio, right? Yeah. We had a Japanese student staying with us last week. We, we used it all week with her. She was great. 
，你会看到公共车站，像二十五号车。Go upstairs and you'll see the bus stop. Take the number twenty-five bus. Hey, thanks. They didn't actually do it, which is a little disappointing. <laughs> yeah. If you need me, I'll be down in my dressing room. Yeah. I've been spitzing up here. All right. <laughs> the Chinese actor said, if you need me, I'll be down in my dressing room. I like that. S4 spoke it in Chinese. Then the old guy answered in Chinese, and the S4 typed it That was a completely guy. faked demo, That's right. unfortunately. Yes, well, you, with this kind of big stage, you can't take many risks, right, yeah. for a fail. Yeah. Ten if you include American That's English, true, and that's the first thing that's going to yeah. give you a terrible... And the Galaxy S4 we'll say something. Both text to How did the Google Translate do with the Japanese text. student? Oh, awesome. So, yeah. yeah, Google Translate was awesome. That's amazing. No, no and that's problems. spoken word. Spoken word. Yep. Wow. On both ways. Japanese, you know, English or Japanese. Both ways. Venice. We didn't use it too much because she was trying to learn English. But. Impressive. Eh, grazie. The Galaxy S4 also knows French. Nine languages, Italian, speech to Latin text, Spanish, text to speech. Chinese, it's Japanese, just a skin for Google Korean, Translate. Give me yeah. a break. Yeah. yeah. What about Pig Latin? Not yet. Great. They're also the doing the uh, word lens thing where you take a picture of a sign in, a, uh, written words. in another in language another and they language. translate. So it's basically just Google Translate. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Google Translate does that as well. So. Embedded useful sentences oh, the other thing Google Translate can do is you can actually draw on the screen the letters, or in the case of, you know, Japanese or, or Chinese, you can That's draw the impressive. characters. That's amazing. And it will recognize them. I don't yeah. see that as a feature of S Translator, but maybe it's coming up here. My buddy Jeff in Rio. Jeff is backpacking through Remember, Brazil. Remember, they're probably, they haven't mentioned the S Pen. I wonder if they'll have an S Pen on this. Portuguese, John. Right. Maybe not. The Galaxy maybe S3 not. does not. Yeah, the rumor was it was and not John going to be the Portuguese instantly because the S compatible, but we'll see. Deeply integrated into programs like Chaton and the Samsung email. Might and be that the app. res on the screen is too Can't high to do that. Can't wait to see that. you in mm. Paris. Cool, we're going to meet up in Paris. So, while John goes off... Yeah, I believe they have a new entrance, new layout let's talk about for the, the pixels. New pixel layout. Uh, it's supposed to be really display, nice. It doesn't matter where you are. The screen automatically adjusts brightness, saturation, and contrast... No ...depending on what's being viewed. Uh, what if I'm watching a movie, then switch to playing a game? No problem. And what if I'm reading an email, and then play a game, and then watch a video? Adapt, display, adjust. What if the video is about a five-legged cat? Doesn't matter what it's about. So it doesn't judge. Mm, no. The adapt display just makes whatever you're looking Jeez. at look this is getting better. Tedious. So it's more comfortable <laughs> for your eyes. This is made possible because of the advanced hardware and In the chat room asked, who is this aimed at? Displays. I mean, if, if you're talking to tech journalists, experience. cut the cruft, right? Right. Do they and think that cute. regular people are watching and uh, are interested in this? Maybe they are. Maybe that's what's you know new about these I, kinds of I think they are because they're streaming it, and because I think a lot of these products are focused at people who aren't go, don't know about Google Translate or don't know right. like we take it for granted. They're right. they're going after the average person, like my sister, who doesn't know anything about right. this stuff, right. and might be watching this. M maybe, maybe. I and I think I think that's that's if you look at how many of these phones they've sold, I think that's actually a good approach. They, they can't say they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. When yeah. Photos and there are right now there are half a million people watching it live on YouTube. On your bar, Only a story album. 350,000 are tech journalists. Cover and name for your album <laughs> and then a template for the layout and one for a cover. And if I the rest set up are the my home city and go to Rio de Janeiro, the S4 recommends I create a that's story amazing. album because half a million people traveling. watching. Dude, the thing is so at the same time. Yeah, and that's really amazing. Yep. Facebook. I have a uh, one album of Anna at the lake. I have uh, another album of Anna in the market. I have another album. So now this is the creepy portion? Yeah, yeah. turn into carnival here. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. I also have lots of video, too. And if Jeff wants to, he can add tags to the photos, such as a note on so the website. This is a journal app that uh, lets you take the Why not? images and put so them together. Jeff Apple's I photo app does this, of course, yeah. on the uh, iPhone. In partnership with Blurb, users can order or send hard copy albums Blurb. to 70 countries. That's interesting. Including the U.S. Well, that's cool. I could see people using that. You know, like I went on vacation, I took all these pictures, just make it, you know, you, you jump from the desktop from the phone right to the book. Right. That's pretty cool. You don't even need the desktop. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Bypass it. And right. I am not home yet, but here's this beautifully printed book of my journey. So I beautifully bound photo album to Anna at home. I think she'd like that. I'm home. I like this. Hmm, I knew it. Next, Jeff and John met up at the airport in Paris.
Jeez. I think the communication overall is that this replaces your desktop computer. That you now can do everything on your phone that you would do when you get home. Back home through our new home sync device. Well, because because you're on the go, like you're not home right. all the time. Like right. here, you know, this scenario that he's traveling, he's going from the airport, like it's showing that this you know, they're pushing that life companion aspect of it. Yeah, and that's, that's right. That's yeah. what they want, right? I mean, yeah. that's what we. That's the future. This, this, these mobile phones are really. Yeah. I love They're these personal computers. Where do you see Brazil? Behind Anna. Uh, <laughs> so HomeSync <laughs> gives you a terabyte of storage for up to eight users. It's a personal cloud device. And after Jeff's family spent the next 18 hours looking at pictures of Anna, they decided to go back to their dressing rooms. Ryan? Oh. HomeSync is a personal cloud device that you keep in your home. Uh, connects to the SFO it, using it NFC. Capacity, so, so I guess you yeah, buy this device. It's, yeah, it's an interesting set-top box. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, not a Google TV, but it's not a Roku. Like it's it's you know meant to hook up to your TV and have the phone feed all the data to the TV. Wow. Um, so I come home, I I tap my phone to this set-top box. It transfers all the pictures over from the trip, and now I can watch them on the TV. I I would hope that they have other capabilities samsung's smart tv capability would be a great idea yeah, right exactly then you've got then you do have it to set top box the content played on let's see what else it does can also be mirrored on the screen of the galaxy s4 in full hd perfect for when you're away from home and want to look something up in the family cloud exactly Essentially, it functions as a sort of hub for your life and memories. And speaking of my life, I've been showing you all how great the Galaxy S4 is for the the. You know what's missing? Man, I think there should be a car on this stage. The life of a <laughs> that would be York awesome. Actor. On a spinning platform? May I have my car, yeah. Please. <laughs> wow. <look> at that. <laughs> the '80s theme music continues. It really sounds like Hawaii Five O. Yeah. What? Space is tight in Manhattan. That's how I have to park. Once I'm in my car, that's when S Voice Drive takes over. Tell them about it, Ryan. Whoa. S Voice Drive was S -Voice developed for user safety while driving, Jeez. and a simpler, customized okay, so version of the S Voice or... interface yeah. has been developed only for S Voice is... Drive to provide while. you with a more intuitive look and feel. S it's is the new I, says Waskell in our chat. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> for yeah. Samsung, so anyway. user isn't distracted while driving. Hmm. Just pair it with your car's Bluetooth, and you'll automatically get the version of S Voice optimized for you. You've got a call from Justin. Yes. Oh, that's my manager. Answer. Justin? Well, baby, how's it hanging? <laughs> Good, what's up? I got you the Samsung gig. You're going to be the MC, baby. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm in the middle of it right now. Oh, hey, hey, what, while I have you on the phone. No, you got a meeting for me? I, I want to get the new Samsung Galaxy S4. They're not going to give you a free phone, Justin. <laughs> I'm not asking for one, but I thought maybe you could find out if I can transfer all from my old phone to the new Galaxy S4, all my information. I think I saw this guy on the Hollywood Squares. Yeah, exactly. Just so you can ask if you can transfer everything from your phone to the Galaxy S4. And my wife's. And your wife's. <laughs> Ryan, can you help me out here? Yes. Some of the live you bloggers are saying it's like going to the really bad Oscars. <laughs> or, or even worse, the Tony the Awards. Lithuanian Oscars is what it is. But they're really, really bad. Download and install the Smart Switch program on his PC. Connect his old smartphone. Uh, I don't like and back this. Up everything he wants to the computer. Then he connects his new Galaxy S4 to the PC and yeah, transfers yeah, everything idea. to that. But this, Easy. I think this is a, cons a product Again, consumer's Again, exactly. Yeah. It's a... It's not something we would ever do, even. If you've, if you've logged no, into no, Google, you don't need to do right. it. Yeah, this it's is something my mom would do. It answers the question that really isn't being asked. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's very redundant to a lot of the stuff that Google's offering already. Right. Yeah, exactly. Get yeah. me Soho. And S-Voice gives you hands-free access to services. But I think one of the messages also from Samsung is, this is an Android, this is Samsung. But it will right. make calls, receive messues, find music. And that kind of ties into... So we haven't heard Android one time, have we? No. No, we haven't. And that was, you know, Google's concerns about Samsung right. becoming a bit too powerful, right. you know, or a bit too, you know, big for their britches. This could be... I think it's one of the reasons Andy Rubin moved on is that Android is no longer really a product for Google. It's, uh, it's been forked. It's been co-opt. I mean, they're happy to have it because, of course, you'll still be using Google services with this. But... Call forward or cancel. The guy never stops working, always in meetings. I don't think he ever leaves the office. Read out. 
in the middle of a meeting with Steven Spielberg. Now, I'm thinking this is not the voice. Right. To reply, right. Call It'd be great if it was, but be fantastic. Read again. In the middle of a meeting with Steven Spielberg, your name came up twice. Would you like to reply? Call forward. Cancel! What the heck, Steve? I thought you were in your office. And I thought you were not supposed to be able to see me. It's amazing I have a career. While you're driving, the voice recognition feature makes it possible for the Galaxy S4 to pretty much do everything for you. Wiggy42 says, I'm assuming Neil Patrick Harris turned this MC yeah, gig down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think you nailed it, actually. Can't be your agent, Will, but it can act like a personal assistant. And it won't take 5% of my money. 15. 7. Well, wish I could get GLaDOS off. in a voice. But only because you're yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Tom Tom, you can. She even lies to you. She tells you to turn right when you're supposed to turn left. That's great. <laughs> Answer. Answer. And she Hi, offers Vivian. you cake well, when you darling, arrive. Steve told me you got the Samsung gig at Radio City. I'm on my way over. What time does it start? I'm in the middle of it. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. I just got all dressed up. This is a full up. employment act for Broadway uh, performers. How you work your phone with gloves on? How much did this cost? I mean, my God. Look at this set. It's like a three-story yeah. set. Yeah. Wow. Honey, if you're doing the presentation, you really should know that. Maybe I should be Yeah, it keeps doing going up. The set is an elevator that keeps yeah. revealing new bits. We've seen uh, You don't have to elaborate on everything, Ryan. Three oh, three levels. So, once I get home after a tiring day of audition, I like to kick back, relax, and uh, watch a little TV. This is a great time to talk about the awesome Samsung it's Hub. Yes, love friendly. Love friendly. Love friendly. <laughs> The Galaxy S4 takes all of the fabulous hubs. Now, I got to point out that this is probably fine in the theater. I mean, it's very big for theater. This is theatrical. Not so good on video, but unfortunately, there's 3,500 people in the theater, and there's half a million people watching it on video. This is probably fun and if you're in, this, right, in the auditorium. Right. Yep. I'll be in Will's dressing room. Now I want to talk about not so much on the, the video feature. streaming. Uh, we introduced this that was it. Global World Congress, That's and not the Galaxy yeah. S4 will be the first device that uh. Knox is going to ship on. Keep in mind, Knox is designed for business and enterprise users, and what it does is lock your device down and keep it safe from malicious applications. It's built on top of security-enhanced Android developed by the U.S. government. There's, there's your first Android yep. mention. Yep, yep number one. Go ahead and drink now. Yep. <laughs> Don't expect much, though. That's it. We're going yeah, to be very That's sober it. by the end of this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll drink my uh, like frappuccino. Having two phones in one. Your company can have a relationship with the This is interesting. So the idea is storage is divided into encrypted whatever. partitions, one for work, one for home. Personal space on your Galaxy S4. Security for Clever way to uh, manager, solve that problem. For you. No, no, I get it. So if I had a son. Hey, Jeremy. And the tap dancing kid's back. Oh. What's up, Mr. Chase? You're going to play my son. Do I have to? Come on, you played the Samsung Messenger and the tap dancing kid. Those were cool. Being my kid would be cool. Yeah, right. Is he like 13 or something? He's got to be like really old. Yeah, he's got that. Uh, son, Jeremy. But not, you know. That Gary like, Coleman disease. It developed. keeps him from yeah, getting maybe. big. Maybe. Yeah. He's actually 44. Hey, Dad, I need money. <laughs> one part of my phone and if I wasn't an actor and had to get a real job which is a possibility given my agent I might get an email from my boss you really let us down on that quarterly report will that's another part of my phone exactly files emails photos Knox keeps all of your business things separate and safe cool okay okay enough so it's all types of data that's interesting more really great now, they haven't mentioned encryption but they have a big padlock on the logo so Perhaps I was. You would think it would be. I was foolishly yeah. assuming. Well, that could be a big business for them if they have a service that helps companies enable that at their, right. you know, in their enterprise. Now we've kind of become West Side Story all of a sudden. Is getting married in a few weeks. Check out the ring. Very nice. My best girlfriends are throwing me a party. Oh. Hey, hey, ladies. Do you want to come? Sure. Oh, here you go. Okay. Okay. Found a waiter. Oh. We're trying to find the perfect song for your wedding. And with the new and improved group play feature that's Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. what are you doing here, Vivian? I'm not Vivian anymore, see? No gloves. I'm Sheila now, and I was invited. Okay, but no more interrupting. 
With the new and improved group. All right, it's That's really gotten the Galaxy S4. You this is terrible. Really is, yeah. play music through as many as eight I mean, they're Galaxy taking the, the break the fourth wall tongue in cheek. We know this is cheesy right. kind of approach. A little which is really too far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sound system, <laughs> we even got a five it. Channel surround system. And the sad thing is, we have to sit through this to try to glean facts about this right. phone. Right. Now there is the yeah. center, now there is the left surround. I still have more information from the rumors than I do right. from the actual presentation. Oh my gosh, I love it. So there's this tapping of phones thing that Samsung really promotes, and I've never seen anybody do. Oh, I hope I And then there's a play out of all their devices. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah. So you can have tinny sound from eight devices right. now. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's true surround sound because everyone surrounds you has the same song. How do you turn it off? That's probably the first question I'd ask. It's you know, sad that the presentation is overshadowing what might be a really great phone. Uh, can you imagine Apple doing something like this? No, never. Broadway no. show. Awesome feature. And you know, even if you only have two phones, you can still set up a great sounding two channel system. Plus, you can adjust the volume of each device. And you can start up the music again right from where the group play leader stopped. And one of the coolest things is that now what? Group Play supports multiplayer games. And not only does Group Play let you share okay. music... Okay, <clears throat> Never mind. And not only does Group Play let you share music, it also allows you to share photos with the share pictures feature. Who are you? It's actually uh, obfuscating the features. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You should yeah. know that, Will. And here's something really cool. The new chat on feature. It's been updated to include video chat calls on for up to three people. Samsung's with the new S4, you chat, can even have unified a dual chat video call. So if Adam was playing golf. So they've added video to it. Golf. It's now their FaceTime, really. Yeah. So it's all about the Samsung software hey, yeah. that they've developed yeah, for this phone. Yeah. Hi, honey. How are you? Great. Which, again, we go back to this, but again, it's really about what the consumer wants. Right. Right. Hi. They don't care how many megapixels or... Right. How fast it is. Camera while chatting. Can and, I take pictures awesome. of my grandkids and share them with you? Can you use the dual camera to show people the back camera while they look at you using the front camera? It's also, I think, taking like this less is of way too complicated. <laughs> It's taking less of an approach of, you know, like we haven't heard any mention of apps or anything like that. They're trying to it's all guess Samsung. Every, yeah. yeah, everything you need, Samsung's given you, yeah. and, which is really kind of opposite of the whole Android approach. So. Yep. Yeah. Let me show you some of the photos of the hotels I found in Paris, London, Rome, and New Jersey. Oh, I know what you're thinking. I asked the same question. It's because her parents live in Rome. Look at this hotel I found in Newark. <laughs> that was funny. Looks great. <laughs> See you tomorrow at the rehearsal dinner. Another great feature is our air gesture. It allows you to navigate the phone without actually touching it. It's a great it. feature. With air gesture, you can fast forward or rewind, move apps around, Look at photos. How about you air look, quotes? Uh, you just look like a crazy person waving at your right. phone the whole right. time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why this is better than just touching it. I'm, I mean, your hand's still in proximate. Why would you need that? My nails are wet. There you go. That's why. I really don't want to put down this drink. Okay. I like how they answered your question, though. I mean, you asked, right? <laughs> well, my nails are wet. You asked why it was better. Yeah. I, I'd say they nailed that one. <laughs> <laughs> And smart this is like pull. watching nail varnish dry. Yeah, that's a revolutionary innovation based Air on call the Galaxy accept. S3's smart stay. This allows the Galaxy S4 to detect whether or not you're looking at the phone. <laughs> there it is. So, if uh, DD was watching a video and uh, something caught her eye. Oh, the pool boy. Well, well, well. But again, it's not going to be a live demo. Pause the video so that you don't lose track. Freaky. And when she looks back at the S4, would it start again? Yep. But we won't see it because... Do I have to? You have to. Come on. Oh, here we go. You know, this, this perpetuates this thing that... Sergey started about looking at your phone being emasculating. There's this deep sexism. Oh, sorry. D don't they understand that women <laughs> use these you're products, right. buy these products, and it's not about their nail polish drying and watching the pool boy? I, I, it's stunning. The, this is really tone deaf. 
The Galaxy S4's numerous sensors track. Oh wow! So they're going after uh, fuel band and Fitbit. And why so things? You can get Self. And make what do you stand on the phone to weigh yourself? One of the new features. <laughs> <that> <laughs> <really> <laughs> the I hope the Gorilla Glass can hold up then. <laughs> you can tell how many calories I've burned off. Oh, see again with a sexist. I mean, this I is appalling. What if you're walking while eating cheesecake? <laughs> you're, you're only cheating, cheating yourself, oh, eating. Oh my God. <laughs> And with accessories like S wow. band, body scale, and heart rate monitor, S Health gathers information about sleep patterns, heart rate, exercise, and weight. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, All things that women are concerned you. about. Right, you can right. Get that with your phone <laughs> My girlfriend literally just texted me and said, this is offensive and awful. It's hardly <laughs> offensive. I'm offended. <laughs> and I'm a pig. <laughs> I bet she didn't imagine this. The Galaxy S4 is never a replacement for a doctor, Kelly. You're such a party pooper. But it's definitely a handy supplement. And with total reports, it collects all of your Jeez. data and turns it into an easy So presumably you have to have a Bluetooth enabled a doctor doesn't device come in a that of is set up to work with it. Or, or do they sell this stuff? Maybe they do. I think they're selling it. it looks they're like selling an S band, a body scale, a heart rate monitor. Yeah, these are all accessories. Yeah, they're, they're wow. really going after that fuel wow. band kind of market. And this could be a good thing to do if they didn't present yeah. it this way. Uh, yep. Because the fitness stuff is really, it's a big, it's a big uh, area that's got a lot of growth recently. I, I can't believe they're saying things. My mother always dreamed I'd end up with a doctor. The flip cover that we introduced. A doctor doesn't come in a variety of attractive colors and cases. To show key information and enable users to answer the phone without opening the cover. And when the cover closes, the Galaxy S4. <laughs> okay, the cover has a hole in it. That can do that. <laughs> okay, I think you girls are done. Come on. Oh. Let's go find that gardener. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't any one of these wow. actors have the sense to say, you know, this is really offensive stuff. You really probably shouldn't do Ooh, this. Samsung is well, reviewing this that content. That concludes our show. Right? I hope you've enjoyed yourselves this evening as much as we have. And remember, the Galaxy S4 is designed to understand the way we live now, the way we work, the way we socialize, the way we enjoy ourselves. The real beauty of the Galaxy S4 is that it can do all of that in a lighter, slimmer shape than you thought possible. It's extraordinary technology is there to make your life that much richer, that much simpler, and that much fuller. Oh, I'm going to miss Ryan, aren't you? Let's give it up for Ryan Biden. Awesome job. Yeah, thank you. Thank Let's you. give it up. Wow. And I'd like to thank our great cast. He's the only one applauding. It's so pathetic sound. This is amazing. I'd like to hear for Kim Scharnberg and the fantastic Broadway Orchestra. Come on. Woo! Boy, nobody does it weirder than Samson. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And last but not least, <laughs> let's give it up for thank the star you, of you. our show, the new <laughs> Samsung Galaxy S4. What's sad is it really obscured the features of the phone yeah. to such a degree. Now, it's your turn to try the phone. In just a moment, you will be able to get your hands on this amazing new product. Do the but Apple don't style everyone demo rush the room. stage to get mine. Please pay close attention to the staff in the aisle. I just want to go home. Ensure you nauseous. safely get the chance to see and try the Galaxy S4 up close. Wow. Everyone I was so excited by all the rumors and stuff, and now it's just kind of like, uh, well, you gotta you gotta give them credit. No one's taken this approach yet. <laughs> no, yeah, that's, that's true. First, <laughs> Galaxy S Galaxy S4 for women of a certain age, I guess. I don't know what. I, Episode one. MSG Entertainment produced this. They're gonna bring Jar Jar in. Yeah, for they, they own radio. They own radio. City. Oh, they own radio. City, that's right. They own the garden and everything. Yep, yeah, yeah. It's Cable Madison Vision. Square Garden. Cable Vision yeah. is that who it is? Yeah. Yep, the Nolans. Mm. So that you can't Nolans. blame them for this. <laughs> they just well, you own can blame the building. Them, but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not our fault. So all of those white tables in the front now have Samsung employees in front of them. Oh, there's ready the, blue, for the blue shirts. Have oh, emerged. so they're doing the demos right in the there. In the room, yeah. yeah. Now those are the specs. Oh, let's specs. Uh, let's show those specs. Go full screen on that if you could. Uh, yep. 3G and 4G. They'll, it'll roll out in 150 countries uh, worldwide with full LTE connectivity. Five-inch screen. 1920 well, Android. Yeah, not oh, 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. That's excellent. 1920 by 1080 screen at 441 pixels per inch. Very high resolution 
display uh, comparable to the DNA. Um, it will have a both a rear and a front-facing camera, 2 megapixels in front, 13 in back, which can shoot at the same time. Um, connectivity is remarkable. It's the first phone I've seen with uh, 802.11ac, yep. the new Wi-Fi standard. It's not even a standard yet. Uh, no. It's a spec. Um, NFC Bluetooth 4 and the infrared LED remote that the HTC was touting with the HTC One. Two gigs of RAM. Spec-wise, these are these these. This is kind of the standard for uh, these phones. Are these mimes or tap dancers? No one can really be sure. I think it's over. Uh. Boy, is it over. <laughs> I gotta wonder how this went over in Times Square with all yeah. those people standing in the cold. Was it worth it? <laughs> oh, and by the way, I don't think they said the Octa Exynos. What did they say for processor? Did they? Mm, I didn't see. Battery is replaceable. Micro SD yeah. card. That's good. Uh, Those are good features. It's yeah. a, it's a good piece of hardware. It's just all the all the stuff they laid on top of it. I think is the is the yeah. Let's the let's cut through the presentation to yeah. the actual phone, Ron Richards. What, what do you think? <laughs> you know, I think I think the phone itself, the device is, is, is uh, clearly it's an improvement on on the the Galaxy S design. Um, you know that that super long battery life, that screen. I mean, I put uh, Jason Howell had a Droid DNA, and it was beautiful. It really yeah. was one of those things you don't believe it until you see it. Um, and so if it's that high of a PPI, it's definitely something that's great for video and for photos and things like that. Um, it's just for me, like all that bloatware on top of it, I don't know if I need group play and, and home sync and all that sort of stuff. I don't, you know, like the, the front camera and the rear camera integration on the photos is neat, but it's kind of gimmicky to me. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is the phone for me. I'll be honest. I'm not, I'm not regretting my Nexus 4. How about you, Aaron? Yeah, I mean, I'm, like I said uh, before we started, I'm really kind of curious what current uh, Samsung S, uh, Galaxy S3 owners would think about the S4. Because if you just look at what they showed on the the presentation, I'm thinking, well, that's pretty much my phone already. I mean, they yep. didn't they didn't really talk about a, a, enough new things to make it worthwhile. Now, of course, if you're tech savvy and you can dig down and look at all the different uh, improvements that they have made, yes, it is um, almost a millimeter thinner. I don't know if that's a big deal. It's got a faster processor. Um, two gigs of RAM. So there, there's some things in there that are better, but as far as the presentation is concerned, they really didn't highlight any of those things that are that are going to really speak to the current owners, I don't think. I mean, if I, if I had a Galaxy S3, I'd be like, well, there's no reason to run out and buy one because my phone does that already. No, in fact, uh, what really struck me is uh, that most of this was about, as you mentioned, software that Samsung's delivering. This is yeah. about the, the software that Samsung's loading on the phone, something most my experience, most Android owners don't embrace and relish. They don't want to see uh, carrier stuff. That's why the Nexus 4 and the Google Experience devices sell so well. They're not that anxious to get all of these uh, frills and frippery, partly because it's generally not that well written. It doesn't work that well. Right. Um, and uh, and Google often does it better. Um witnessed the Google Translate. They didn't add any features to it. In fact, they are lacking some features. Lacking some features that Google, Google Translate, Translate has. has. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, the only thing you could say about the presentation is they did bring it in in under an hour. True. That's yep. the only thing you could say about the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was at Radio City Music Hall, which yeah. is which yeah. is it was in New York. So it, these are all facts. <laughs> it really it really was it was it was in the U.S. I mean, actually, that speaks more than the presentation itself. Right. I think is that the fact that it was in the U.S. I mean, this is a first for Samsung. Um, maybe that's why it was so wonky. Like, maybe they were trying to go, like, let's understand make Understand the American audience? Understand American culture and didn't quite get it. I don't know, well, but... Go ahead. I, don't, I don't know. I, I, it's not as if Samsung doesn't have, you know, like they had the, the product guy was from Samsung US. It's not like they don't understand, you know, have people who understand the US market. I think they got caught up in the venue. They said, we're going to do it at Radio City Music Hall. We're going to play it. We got this guy from Broadway. We're going to play up the Broadway angle and we're going to make it entertaining. And which is a good idea. Like I said, nobody's ever done it, but it, clearly they went too far. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, there you see it. They What they we did also not have say. Jeff on the line. Oh, good. What they did not say, and maybe Jeff will know, is price, availability, yep. carriers. No uh, price, just the end of April. Uh, they said um, uh, hundreds of carriers. I can't remember the number because I couldn't tweet during it because, of course, the Wi-Fi didn't work. Uh, I think they said that it was truly a world phone that would operate on all They did. They yeah. did say that, Jeff. We, we heard that. Jeff Jarvis is Which joining is us from this week in Google. He's actually at Radio City Music Hall.
Um, did you get a chance to, to handle the phone at all, Jeff? I know you're a, no, a it fan. Was a, it was a mad scene. Yeah. It was a mad scene, so I just I, I just got out. They, they had little bags that were given out at the end, and everybody looked, and hopefully they thinking they were going to get a phone. Of course, it was just <laughs> food. Now, you are a longtime television critic. You come from a, crit, a critical background. You you understand the theater. <laughs> What, what? You know, what the hell? What, what the hell was... You know, one of the things I that struck me is, of course, it's a, a theatrical presentation is very different, and it may be that the people in the room had a different experience. Here at home, watching it uh, close up, it was exceedingly stagey, very cliched, uh, and highly sexist, frankly. I think offensive to any woman watching it. It was highly cheesy, yes. I think so. Uh, and, and as Dominic Rush from Guardian said in Twitter before, I, when he used a hashtag, it's just a bloody phone. You know, that's all it is. It was, it was, it was overdone. And I, I think I heard the end of what you were saying, but when I came on, it was not that impressive. It's not like it's that much new stuff. So yeah. They were trying to, I think, pump it up and say, whoa, it's a show. Uh, the, the radio city was, was unbelievably wacky. There were huge lines fully around the block. There were, there were separate lines for press separate from broadcast, separate from partners, and separate from people they invited in, uh, you know, just consumers. They jammed Radio City, which is a lot of people, a full orchestra, a cast of pathetic unemployed actors. This thing cost <laughs> a fortune. Millions. No doubt. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. Jeff, what, Jeff, what was the audience reaction? Was they, Were they applauding, or was it silent and awkward? I, no, it was it was no, it was neither. It was it was the people who were who were you know like partners would applaud nicely. The rest of us kind of didn't. Um, no oohs and ahs whatsoever. Uh, when Shin talked at the very beginning and certain features were announced, there was some you know some applause scattered here and there. But it was you know the, I, I've never had the privilege of going to a Steve Jobs presentation. Uh, obviously, this wasn't that. <laughs> no, far from it. It's like the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it really kind of was. And, and it's going to take us a while to parse features like Knox. Uh, kind of interesting to see the uh, health accessories that Samsung uh, is selling. If you look merely at the phone hardware, it's it's clearly an evolutionary product. Five inches somewhere between the S3 and the Note 2. The highest resolution screen uh, Samsung offers. Uh, some interesting camera features, but as is often the case with camera features, uh, you know, possibly something you wouldn't, end up using you might say oh that's cool and and never use it samsung did add video to s to uh, their uh, chat on uh chat client i almost called it s chat i don't know why they didn't call it s chat mm. um <sighs> yeah, so i, don't know. I mean yeah, I, all, in all, Leo, all in all i looked at it and, you know it, it looked like the s3 right they put them right next yeah. to each other and they looked looked quite the same uh i was happy with my nexus 4 i didn't feel as if i had to say oh no i've got to get this thing at all yeah yeah, I think the, the purists, uh, Ron Richards and Jeff Jarvis among them, are just going to stick with your Nexus 4s. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even now, thinking yeah. about jumping. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it will run the latest version of Android. That's a good thing, 4.2.2. Yeah. Well, they couldn't they couldn't have rolled this out without that. Right. If they had they, everyone would have screamed if they had done that. Right. Yeah. Um, mostly I think I'm just still in shock from the really horrible presentation and uh and trying to separate that out from the phone, which sounds like a, a credible uh, hardware. Incredible phone. Have you ever seen a tech presentation like that before? You know, the only thing I could think of that was this bad was the Qualcomm keynote at CES, which was absolutely as bad. Mm. But that's it. And uh, maybe this is a new trend. I don't know. Maybe they got the same person to produce this. Um, I just I can't think of in recent memory anything as as uh, or or even distant memory anything as bad as this. Um, Did you hear about the HTC in the line, Leo? No. Now you know. Really, it's interesting yeah. because HTC's one is actually starting to look like uh, yeah. the only innovator in this new in this new generation of uh, Android phones. What what happened in the it line? Really is well, the, the great thing is that they also win the marketing award because we're standing in this ridiculously long, disorganized line all the way around, and HTC comes along. People wear an HTC One hat. They hand out $100 coupons for HTC phones. Nice. They're giving out yep. uh, hot chocolate and Pringles and water to people standing in line. It was really <laughs> smart. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> it's heating up. It's heating up. Uh, some of this. And they had the HD phone actually, actually with them, and you look at it, and it's, it, it does look nice. It's, it's different. It's innovative. You're right. It's interesting because uh, 
um, Samsung gave uh, Sasha Segan at uh, PC Magazine an interview, um, Nick DiCarlo, Samsung's VP of Portfolio Planning. PC Magazine asked the question that we've been asking, which is, uh, will I be able to run some of these uh, programs on my S3? Will I need to go to the S4? And Nick DiCarlo said, yeah, absolutely. If it doesn't require specific hardware, uh, anything we can do that's not dependent on hardware like infrared, we will definitely bring to all our flagship devices. Mm -hmm. So they're still seeing the S3 and the Note 2 as flagship devices. This is considered a part of a larger well, product well, line. So the Note 2 as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so this almost feels less like the three, less less, less like the four, and more like the three dot five. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yep. Something in between a three and a note two. But I mean, I think if you got the choice, you know, you go with the S four, right? I mean, unless it's unless oh, yeah. they're going to mark down the S three, uh, I'm assuming the S three will, will uh, taper off and they'll they'll stop selling it at some point. But um, I mean, it, there it looks like there are some benefits to the S four. I mean, they, they didn't talk about them, but processor speed. Um, I like what they've done uh, with the pixels. Um, as I mentioned before, there's actually, they arrange the pixels slightly differently, consume less battery life, uh, which is always the key thing that drains your battery, right, is the screen, how long the screen's on. And so it looks like they've done some things to try to minimize that. So so that's really good, while keeping a very high-quality display. Um, Jeff, did they give you a press kit or additional information or just a... A no, bag with no, a, They gave us on the way out. They gave us an, a, like an SD card, and I don't know if I put that into something. Will that will okay. that load something? But no, nothing at all. Okay. Hmm. You know, it's interesting. It, it, the presentation so overwhelmed the specs that I really would almost prefer to see. Just give me a, a one sheet, would you? Right. Um, I, I absolutely agree. Yes. Uh, quad core. Um, uh, we're we're hearing now, and I think it's in Gadget and others reporting quad core Exynos five with a uh, Cortex A fifteen for two of the cores and a Cortex A7 for two of the cores. Uh, although they, I think they said it depends on the market. There may be other versions. Right. right. I've done that before, uh, mostly because of the need for LTE, different LTE capabilities. Well, wow. That's what I understand, Leo. If, if the single phone will do all T LTEs, do they need different phones? Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good question, and I'm not sure. You know, in the past, for instance, the Galaxy S3, there was a quad-core European version but it didn't do LTE, so in order to bring it into the United States, they had to do a, a different Qualcomm chip, a dual Snapdragon. core. Snapdragon. Uh, Snapdragon that had the LTE radios built into it. But but the world has changed quite a bit since then, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, as a traveler, that would be very cool, and it would also mean that you wouldn't have this problem. That I, you know, when I, when I finally bought a Note 2, trying to figure out buying the one that was actually on the AT&P frequencies right. versus the other frequencies, it was just a nightmare. Yeah, and I think that and, that's going to change. If you have a universal phone, that yeah. matter. I'm not sure if it changes with this phone. I suspect it does, but if it doesn't, it will be the next phone. Uh, there's a smart TV remote app which uses the IR blaster. That's also something the HTC One has promised. The, the, it's in the fitness tracker app with the, with the fitness accessories is really interesting. Yeah, well, and, I think it's a good good place for them to go. Yeah. Right, because there's not a lot of companies doing it. I mean, Nike has had some success there, obviously, um, and I think I think people actually mm -hmm. want that. They want to have it's that integration. And even more so, so it's, the it's only question I have there is if you have to buy the Samsung hardware, you know, what if you already have a Wi-Fi? No, scale I think you have to buy. I would be willing that. to bet you have to buy the Samsung hardware. But but this is the, this is an area that's been really lacking on the Android side of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just starting to see the Pebble, and we're just starting to see other, you know other things like that. But you know, Nike has not supported Android. I don't think Fitbit has supported Android. So you know, they could really you know steal people who want well, no, this Nike's functionality. Not Oh, it is now. Okay, yeah. All right. So, oh, yeah. But either way, it's it's a gro it's a growing it's a growing segment that I think I think it's interesting to see them go full bore with all these accessories. But the way again, the way they presented it is just you know like I really think they did themselves a disservice. Yeah. Well, it'd be interesting to see if there's an API to the Samsung Health app because then it might be a, a, actually a really interesting mm -hmm. uh, play here. Um, you know, Apple for a long time has offered the Nike Plus capability, and that's it. Why things that other companies have uh, you know, the Nike Fuel Band, the uh, Jam, uh, the uh, Jawbone Up. Uh, these are all using, you know, traditional Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or direct hardware synchronization. Uh, if there's a platform, a phone with a platform and an API, this might be very interesting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, uh, like you say, if there is an API, a third party, uh, uh, you know, sneaker companies could make some really cool right. stuff. Did you see that Google... Um, 
the Google, the Google sneaker talking thing, sneaker, this yeah, talking sneaker. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's not, it's funny, well, but. Speaking of Google, give, give it all the fuss since we got off the air with Twig last night. I'm surprised Samsung didn't announce that they were taking over Google Reader. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jeff's referring to the fact that Google decided to pull the plug on Google Reader after this week in Google ended, yeah. <laughs> leaving us with no scoop whatsoever. Looks like a bottom uh, micro USB connector on the bottom. Good. They're pretty much preserving the form factor, it looks like, of the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note. Removable back with a replaceable battery. Uh, 2600 milliamp hour was it 2600 or 2650 2600 mm -hmm. 2600 milliamp hour battery which is a decent battery for a phone of that size yeah um and the fact that you can replace the battery to me eliminates all concerns about battery i always right. buy a second battery with i do too phones. yeah yeah second battery and a charger if they offer it to charge it up there's that physical button at the bottom the home button you know i'm glad they preserved that i, I wasn't a fan when really yeah, Google eliminated all buttons. In fact, encouraged people, uh, developers, to put the UI into the app. Uh, and I, I didn't like that. I think uh, having a physical home button is an anchor that makes it easier to use the phone. You know where that home button is. It isn't moving. Well, and it, it's a, I think it's especially if you're coming from an iPhone uh, user experience, I right. think that's especially attractive oh, you to see, you. I'm, I'm now addicted to have, I mean, Nexus 4, I love having no button there. I also can't stand on the Samsung how they reversed the other buttons. Yeah, well, there's no standard for menu and back, of course, and so right. uh, home menu and back can be placed anywhere. In fact, the HTC One weirdly places the home button on the right. Yeah, that is uh, weird. And that's oh, going to wow. throw a few people uh, off. I don't mind virtual buttons or um, non-physical buttons, but the thing that gets me is um, if I'm playing a game or something like that, a lot of times I'll hit those buttons by mistake, yeah. and my kids do it all the time, and it drives them nuts It's because Google Now comes up all the time when they're playing some game, and it's like, and then they start talking, and it, it tries to recognize their voice, and they get really frustrated. So, That's interesting. Um, that's my only complaint with that. I don't mind having the virtual buttons except for that. Now, the only other thing, too, is, of course, you get the whole real estate um, of, of the screen. So it does eliminate you know, at least a little bit. And I know you can make the virtual buttons disappear and things like that, but usually they don't. Usually they stay there. They keep that real estate for those virtual buttons. But at least here you've got the entire screen to use for to watch a video or Netflix or whatever. Anybody mention wireless charging, Jeff? I, I wasn't clear whether this... No, okay. no mention. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up. Jeff Jarvis <laughs> uh, at Radio City Music Hall. Um, <laughs> How often have you said that? <laughs> <laughs> where he's just watched the first and last production of Samsung. Well, they said it. They said it's episode one. Yo, so does that please. Mean that we're gonna have more. Episode zero. Us? Yeah, that's it. I don't think episode so. one yeah, of Buckaroo show. Banzai. It's if episode they were smart, one. They would have started on episode none. four and <laughs> yeah. drifted off of the thinking, Star Wars they, thing. Yeah, the yeah. prequel. Samsung S <laughs> for the prequel. Yep. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jeff Jarvis. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Clearly. We'll see you on Wednesday for uh, this week in Google. Um, Dick T. Bartolo and Andy Anaka were also there and uh, probably playing with the phones. We'll get more information. Of course, we'll be talking a lot about the Galaxy S4 along with the HTC One. Best place to find out more about all Android devices is All About Android, our weekly show with Ron Richards, Gina Trapani, and uh, Jason Howell. And I imagine you'll be talking about this a little bit. I'd really love to hear Gina Trapani's take on this. Oh, this this Tuesday is going to be a packed show between <laughs> and Andy Rubin stepping down and now this. Yeah. It's going to be really interesting yeah. to, uh, on Tuesday. So I'm Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you so much. Our show brought to you today by our friends at Slingbox. They bring you all of our breaking news presentation. They invite you to take a look at the sleek new Slingbox 500. I just got mine. Oh, is it pretty? Built-in Wi-Fi, so you don't have to worry about where the Ethernet lives. HDMI connectivity and full 1080p high def video so what is it well it connects to your home theater system and then connects it to the internet so you have password protected access to everything you watch at home you can control the dvr playback uh, dvr recordings record new dvr recordings see what's on your satellite or cable box you never leave your home tv behind and i tell you uh, that's just a great feature uh, especially if you're into sports or uh, special events uh, right now, Sling apps are half price for all of the uh, portable devices. And, of course, you can also run uh, Sling uh, your, your, on your laptop or your notebook uh, computer, which means as you're on the road or even just down the hall, you can always watch your home TV. The picture quality is fantastic. In high def now, do not miss another show. Visit slingbox.com slash twit to find out more or go to Amazon, Best Buy, or Fry's. And pick up the brand new Slingbox 500. It is awesome. Awesome.
Well, I thank you, Aaron, for making the trip. I hope yeah, it uh, doesn't feel like a total waste. Uh, it's always good to be here. <laughs> Let's just say that. It's always good to be here. I don't know about the Samsung uh, <laughs> presentation, but uh, it's good to see you well, and we're, talk about technology. We're so. glad to have your expertise, Aaron Newcomb. Yeah. Um, and uh, we can ca we'll catch you on Floss Weekly uh, Wednesday mornings. I will be here wh this Wednesday. Actually, uh, tune in because we're going to be talking about Dart, uh, which oh, I'm is That's the Google, yeah the uh, Google language. alternative, uh, so to speak, to JavaScript. Yeah. So definitely tune in. It should be a really good show. Yeah. Uh, we also thank you, Ron Richards. We'll look forward to all about Android on Tuesday. Should be exciting. Yep, my pleasure. It was a, it was a blast. Thanks for having me. Thank you everybody for joining us. I uh, hope you've enjoyed our special coverage the Samsung Galaxy S4 Gala presentation. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.